Hi learners, welcome to my channel Data Science University with MLV Prasad. The agenda for today's video is Project 2 Panda Sleet Code Type Easy Question Number 1511 Customer Order Frequency. The GitHub link for the solution is provided in the description below. You can join my Telegram community for further updates and discussions. Scan here to join the community and also the link will be available in the description. Now let's solve together the problem. Okay, let us see this table. First of all, they have given three tables. What is the first table? Customer. Where a unique ID for the customer, what is the name of the customer and which country is belonging to. The customer has been given. Okay, let me come here. Now, there is one more table. Okay, let me come here then. Okay, we now this customers made some orders. Okay, so for each order, there is a unique ID. For example, order 1 was placed by whom? Customer 1. So we can see that these two things are connected using customer ID and customer ID. Customer ID and customer ID. And each customer has purchased some product. Okay. So the product also has been given here on which date and how much amount of quantity. Okay. And what are the product names they are asked? So let me see the product. So this is the information. These two things. Are connected using customer ID. Similarly. The other two tables are connected using product ID okay let me change the color let me go for this so these two things are connected using this now what is the question they are asking write a solution to report the customer ID and customer name so what they want each customer ID and customer name okay of customers who have spent at least dollar hundred first condition is what dollar hundred in each month of June and July 2020. Okay, that is the question. Let us come here. So, each customer should spend $100 in both 6th and 7th month of 2020. Okay, first of all, let us come here. Um, so, except the last row. We know that all of them are belonging to the June 6 and 7. Okay. Now what they want to know. Each month they want to calculate whether the sum of the things which they purchased is greater than 100 or not. So how to do this. We know this per customer 1 is there. Product 10 is there. But purchased only one quantity. But what is the price of that? So let me connect these two tables using product ID and product ID. We know that 1 into 300. So total 300 rupees he purchased it purchase amount similarly 21 21 10 into 10 10 rupees he purchased it similarly 32 45 to 90 rupees he purchased it so similarly we are for every row we will get total purchase amount now what they want to know for each month but here there is nothing month wise so let me use some trick here okay, let me come here so we know this return orders table. Let me write like this. I will create a new column orders new. Let me do one thing. We know that June and July is there. Afterward, it can be anything. Day can be anything. So I will do smart tick. I will do the slicing. 
whatever the date it is the first seven letters will be always the same thing okay but they are in date format so let me convert them into string okay order date string okay now it has been converted a string okay from this one now we can do any string slicing which you want so up to let us say three things now it will come up to first three indexes two zero two something i want up to the first seven Okay, now it's clear. Can you see 2026 something etc. etc. Only the things up to the month it is coming it. Okay, so let me here also filter the table. Orders is equal to because other things I think I don't want anyway. So let me filter orders new column dot is in either. Zero two zero two six or two zero two zero zero seven. So we filter the table only for June six and seven. But I don't know the products, what is the quantity and the price amount. So let me connect it to the product table. Okay. So let us say some new DF is equal to orders dot merge product how only matching rows what is the common column for both of them product id write down Now, for each order which has been placed, we have filtered only for the June and July 2020 and we know the quantity and the price. Let me create a new column DF purchase is equal to DF quantity into DF price. we got it and we want the customer names also so let me do one thing let me join here that also tf is equal to that's a final answer table i will call it answer is equal to df dot merge customers table on is equal to common columns using customer id customer ID Finally, we got it. Now, what we need to do for each customer, for each customer name, for each date, which is this new column, I need to calculate the sum of amounts. So, let me write a dot two pi. Customer ID. For each customer, as I want combination also, name, comma, for each date, let us calculate 
purchase dot sum. Okay, has you wanted data frame? Let me reset index. Okay, now it's clear. We can see for each customer, for each name, for each year and the month, we know the sum of purchase. But there are two conditions. What is that? Each customer in both of the months, what? Both of the months should be greater than 1000. So, first, sorry, greater than equal to 100. First of all, let us filter for 100. Answer is equal to answer where? Answer of purchase. Answer is equal to purchase. Greater than or equal to 100. For each month, the sum of purchase should be greater than 100. Okay, we should return. Okay. You can see, for 1, June also it is greater than 100. In July also it is greater than 100. For 2, only in June it is greater than 100. For 3, it is greater than only in June. So, can I say, if they are both, in the both months, if it is greater than 100, then the number of rows will be 2. If it is satisfying in any one of the month, it will be count 1. So, I will do one thing. I will group by customer, comma, name, and I will do the count of rows. Okay. Answer dot group by customer ID name dot size and X okay let me give some some column name CD now we can see that only for one there are two rows everything else is one so wherever the number of rows is equal to two I will filter for that so answer is equal to answer where answer of CD equal to equal to return answer so we got to know that only customer one Winston has both in the both months of June and July 2020 has some greater than 20 as I want only that month let me filter out for that one only okay so just a minute customer ID comma name let me run that's it is has been accepted let me check for all the test cases okay looks like our query query has successfully solved all the test cases when and we have solved the problem okay so this is the query if you want the code solution for this it will be available in this github repository where the uh, lead code link the youtube link and the github link will be provided here the description for this repository will be available in the description below if you are interested in learning analytics ml dl nlp cv and generative ai stuff please fill in this google form i'll be reaching out to you soon if you are preparing for data science interviews do check out this playlist it will be greatly helping your interview process if you have any questions regarding the problem which you have solved or any generalized questions please use this hashtag in the comment section i will try to answer your queries until then keep learning guys